as part of the Vlogmas Upload Miss Experience, we bring you Day the three. Lo- <laughs> no, oh. uh, <laughs> the Lost Files. So within a few seconds, Austin's ruined the whole thing, yeah? Yeah, 100%. Sweet. So basically, there is a haul to this video that we put up on Instagram, Instagram Lives, if anyone's remotely interested. However, we never posted us actually going and finding the items. So, so what is this? Are. So this is us actually finding the items. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you're bored of uh, charity shop picking at this point, then I'm terribly sorry. Say no more, though, because what are we going to do, Bethany? Charity shop pick. And I actually thought, a lot of people are doing like days that they actually vlog in, like yep, what you're meant to cool. do. And I thought, you know what? We'll break up that. Yep. <laughs> I'm not saying you won't get some of that, because at some point we might be... Uh, Stretched for content. No, I'm just joking. No, we, won't be ever. we have no. so much content coming your way. It's unbelievable. Anyway, we're in Glastonbury. This is Glastonbury, and this is they buy uh, vintage uh, bundles or bales into this store, and a I lot wholesale vintage. Yeah. Oh, sometimes we look, sometimes we don't. But I actually think it is well worth a look if you're into vintage mainly. Look at that arm work. This man's an animal. Because they do like any bundle. There are some gems, and they do just buy in bundles. I mean, um, I don't suggest they hand pick it at all because no it's not happening, no maybe. but we have bought some pieces in here and they've done very well with them actually yes um because they do like a blanket price i think it's like 15 pound for jumpers and like maybe 10 pounds for t-shirts, t-shirts. Yeah. yeah and we bought they had a lot of uh, last time we went not in this video but they had a lot of disney yeah and obviously disney sells for anyone who wants uh, who knows like vintage sweatshirts and stuff especially on depop these are some welly boots now they're not just any welly boots they are cowboy welly boots i know beautiful things i'm composing myself not to shout yeehaw in a western accent right now i would actually wear these if they were just plain black i just think they're kind of funky anyway um i picked them up they wanted 10 pounds in this shop which is fine what is the brand um i uh, is the uh, is ta- 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 tablo tablo okay tablo yeah tal tablo tablo oh my goodness Hello. anyway um i put the retail in there for you um and then i also put for what the, the the best price on ebay was so they're selling for about in really good to new condition they're selling for about 80 cool and yeah. uh, how much were they they were 10 pounds in the store in i store. did already say that i've ignored what you say as usual this is spider spider is got a little spider but it's spelled like spy like I said, i'm a spy but also a duh um no. and <laughs> if you find the ski jackets the ski jackets go for a lot of money they have been producing recently for outlet and for tk max so um i would not be careful what you pick up but make sure it's at the right price um and for do, what do, things are selling for i was gonna say comp specific items as well yeah inside like i think like i said in the last video <laughs> excuse me they will be names of exi- uh, specific uh, items mm. so like that actual item because once again don't necessarily comp on the brand because as you say yeah. ski jackets are a lot whereas a base layer would be nothing like that cost yeah wise, but i wanted to give you an indication that no, it actually totally is right. a brand that's worth picking up if you can find the right items well at the moment we've got a thing about hats we're looking at hats i'm after a new fedora if anyone wants to put one in my market I'll put one in your you. market let's move on from now shall um we? i actually like a paul smith uh, fedora and if anyone finds one i will buy it from you that is a fact size what men's side medium or large i've got a big noggin <laughs> <laughs> genuinely funny. um check the belts always check the belts you know us and these baskets are belts and ties um it is our most favorite thing to do um this is pink by thomas it's not something we pick up tom was it pink by thomas what's his name thomas pink, thomas pink. oh my god I, you see what they've done there, don't you? Yeah. I thought you were joking when you said that. <laughs> they do are like £10, but wait, it's, going, it's not Your brain's us. going do lally. Um, but I've actually been really enjoying belts. Now, they're really yeah. easy to photograph. If, like, we've been picking up, like, Hobbs and LK Bennett belts for, like, a pound in these boxes, and they sell mm. for about 20 to 25 on Vinted. There was a Ben Sherman one there as well. Um, so some belts go for more than others, but once again, because like we do, we do carry a lot of belts. Um, I'm kind of a bit more picky when it comes to belts now. Like it's just more generic high street stuff. Well, this may look a little bit worn to you, but it's called. It's by a brand called Rod and Gun, which is sort of I I say a farm remake in the terms of it's like shooting and hunting sort of uh, Imagine make. kind of British Western wear almost. Yes, you know what yeah. I, mean? I think that's um, the best way to say it. And uh, leather gel will bring this up really nice, but also it's one of those it's one of those things that I actually... The wear is it, appreciated. Yeah, it adds to the look of the, the style of it. Some of the tarnish on the brass as well. Obviously, it's a brass buckle. Um, people actually appreciate that. I've even had people ask... Um, I've even had people say sometimes that, you know, uh, brass eventually when it kind of patinas, it kind of yeah, yeah, goes yeah. green, kind of a greeny white, like yeah. a penny does. Uh, people actually try and kind of force 
just that sometimes. Yeah. Because they like that look. So once again, just because in your mind, um, not that you're wrong, because <laughs> everyone's different, but because in your mind you may look worn like this, and the stitches, I was just putting Bethany the stitch up, the stitching is immaculate on this, is well worn, but it's in great condition. So that's the brand there, New Zealand Rod and Gun, and retail on these belts is about £85. Now that, for an everyday belt, is quite expensive. Oh, but how, how much was it to buy? It was £3.50, oh. and I like I, I would expect back about 30 after a bit of conditioning, which won't take us five seconds. I think first is a good price on Vinted or eBay, actually, for a nice men's belt. I also think, this, like, storage-wise, like, like I know, for example, coats are going great at the moment for obvious reasons, and we've sold some great coats, actually. And that's not to say we don't carry coats. But when you're saying you can get £30-ish, 30, 30, 30 um, maybe 25 profit on a belt... Yeah, literally is like a handful. that's why I've been enjoying storage them. wise. You, you can fit like a hundred in the bin, yeah, as in, in a bin. It's you just, know what I mean? That's the same with term. ties. We've always said about ties, it's because they're just so easy to store. When we first started, we made a joke about ties and belts. And to be fair, I do see loads of people picking up ties and belts now, which is amazing. Not that they're picking up because of us, maybe they are, maybe they're not, whatever. But I think it's a good thing because, once again, small storage, good money, mm -hmm. and it's things people still don't look if at. They're like DVDs of the clothing world, they are, <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. CDs and DVDs, yeah, you're right. Some are worth loads of the DVDs, but yep. most of them are just worth like 10 pounds even the pink ones like you just said like people people sell those for like 20 25 yeah. quid and on specific um specific kind of uh, prints and colors they go really yeah, well yeah exactly um hats especially as well like what a small like beanie hats and things like that i think we found one the other day i won't spoil it oh yeah that was in the last video oh last my video. god catch up jean paul gautier go and watch the other video if you haven't seen it it's day three and i'm losing my mind yep i actually feel like that a bit anyway um, i left this fishing in because Austin goes straight to the men's section and I like picking up menswear because I find menswear sells faster I, for good prices for like everyday brands like yeah, Rohan and things like that now um, and obviously when you find high-end designer as well in charity shops uh, menswear obviously holds it price but it is so few and far between at the I moment. was just going to say that's the exact reason it's kind of a it's kind of a cycle now we found this jumper there's a story to this jumper it was in the hall so this is a whistles deja vu jumper I like to pick up slogan jumpers because I feel like I've seen this jumper before oh god because people relate to the <laughs> relate to the slogan sometimes this um was 45 pound retail put the stock picture now when we got it home we paid four pound fifty we did find a small pinhole in the front and i you know i can't i'm not stitching anything so i popped it on uh vinted and i popped it on for 15 pounds and i said it's got a small hole in it we have an attempt to repair if you want to attempt repair then go ahead and it sells straight away so you can still get your money back on and make three times the profit on yeah. uh, things that are damaged i mean it's not ideal but i, I don't know if we would have necessarily paid that price with a hole in it by the same no. by the same token like wow you actually yeah. made money still that was a, a sea salt gelée or body warmer however you can see it's as seen but the, the the wear was just way too much for a white piece that's that, cool that. that's a cool shirt it's actually pearl snaps as well western um i just don't think to be honest with you like calvin klein calvin klein wearers it's not like for example ralph's a very western style brand in certain elements but i don't think calvin klein is it's a very American, no, very kind of like, I don't I know. I personally don't like self selling Calvin Klein at all. Um, it's overproduced. Um, I I, actually, listen, there's lots of items we've sold from Calvin Klein which sells. Like they're vintage, vintage jeans, yeah. they're spell out t-shirts, they're more kind of 90s Y2K stuff. And I'm not saying their dresses don't sell, but I just don't pick it up every day because I don't think there's that much I was it. just 100% looking at the crotch pull on these trousers. These are, these are this is a stretched <laughs> crotch. They were a size 18, um mint velvet which would have sold really fast hence why i'm showing austin um and they were a good price but sometimes the wear's too much and that's why we oh funny enough i wasn't due diligent and found a hole in the item that i took home however i was there and you just have to look at conditions sometimes over everything these are ted baker and although everyone knows how i feel about ted baker these are some jazzy pants they are jazzy i think they're <laughs> i'm having a mirror with this aren't i i think they were really nice they're nine pound we left them behind someone else feel free to enjoy because i think they would sell really well they would um i just i thought they were quite nice this again is mint velvet and it's a size 18 off the shoulder knit although it's pink which i think is a little bit off season it will probably sell because of the size because of the fit because of the style because of the content of item material 
Yeah. Well done. Yeah. 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 I, I, I didn't want to interrupt your flow, which I usually do, but there you go. No problem. It was like £4.95 or something like that. Yep. Um, these pieces we are picking up really specifically for Vinton at the moment. This, however, I want to talk about. This is an equipment shirt. It was £4. It was cotton. Um, I'm used to finding silk ones. That is the label you are looking for. This is the retail of said shirts. They're about 270 for cotton. Um, and then all the ones that are a bit more flamboyant do sell for a lot more. That was obviously 200 or, or a baggy fit or whatever, yeah. We sell between 80 and 100 on just like a, a basic one. Um, and that's it. This is it's a short video, Oz. Wow. I'm, you I'm, look surprised. I'm I, so sorry. I'm so shocked. Well, you just kind of like just jazzed me up and all of a sudden you jazzed me back down. I don't know what to say. See you tomorrow. Bye.